Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to construct an activity diagram for ATM system. So let's get started. So I am using my star UML to construct this diagram. You can use any other software. So first thing after opening you have to choose model and go to add diagram. So here we are going to do activity diagram. So just click that. So once you are done that we will be getting all the necessary shapes. So before constructing the diagram I just want you to imagine as if you are going inside a ATM and taking some money alright. Because if you just imagine that, it will be so easy to like construct our diagram. So as usual in activity diagram, the first point is going to be this initial one. So just click it and have it at the top. And it's always necessary to start your diagram at the very top because if you start somewhere in the middle, you may end up like not having enough space at the end to complete your diagram. So it is advisable to start at the top. So after initial, our first action is going to be inserting the card. That's the thing what we will do. When we want to take some money from ATM. So for that just click on this action and it's going to be inserting card. Alright. So after entering the card the ATM machine needs to validate your card. So in some cases if you don't insert the card properly it will throw you an like error message insert your card properly. So that's going to be the next step. It's going to have a decision box because it involves validation alright. So for that we will be using the decision over here. So just have this. Yeah. So we will just have a text. So it will be present in annotations. So it's going to be validate. So if that particular card is inserted properly and the ATM machine is able to read the card, that will be a successful validation. So for that we will be having another text. Yes over here and we will be having a no text as well so for that let me just have action it will just say error message yeah so this will be displayed on the atm itself so that's that in case for validation of no so after that the user will again insert the card so i will just draw the control flow now itself like yeah so entering the card so after that this validation of card so uh, from this to this yeah a control flow if it is no it will go to this here message yeah so i think this is fine the lines are bit slanting yeah, this is much better i guess yeah somewhat fine so once the atm machine has successfully validated the card the next action is going to be entering the pin that is we need to enter the pin number to gain access so for that just click on the action and the action name is going to be enter pin or password something like that you can have pin is much better word yeah so once the user has entered the pin the authentication process will take place so this process will check whether the user has entered the right password or pin for the corresponding card so this step is known as authentication so let me just have it it is exactly similar to how a particular we like we entering the mail id or a password it's exactly same to that so let me just have it as authentication yeah just verifying the right if the credentials entered are right authentication and here also we will be having the exact same decision that is exact same validation happening over there text over here which is valid and another one is going to be invalid so i think it's obvious if the user had entered some wrong password it will be considered as invalid and the if, if the user has entered the right one it will be considered as valid so i hope that made sense now let me just now draw the lines yeah, from validating to enter pin and from pin to authentication and from authentication to this diagram yeah so if it is invalid we will be again throwing the error message yeah the exact error message again will be thrown yeah or you can also have some other separate error message and you can just then link up to enter pin you can just play around with that i will just keep i'm just keeping it as simple as possible for now so next the authentication is valid that means that the user has entered the right pin and next thing we have to select the account type so basically i think we will be having two account types one is current and another one is savings account so i think that's the option so next action is going to be i will just have it as account type yeah you need to just select the your account type 
whether it is current or a savings account all right so once we are done with account type then only we will be entering the amount that is to be withdrawn all right so next action is going to be enter amount all right so after this it is the main part if the entered amount is greater than the balance in the bank itself all right so let's suppose say that i am having like 10000 rupees in the bank and the amount that i am entering is 20000 which is like not possible to be done right because amount that i am requesting to be got is greater than the amount that is present in my bank account itself so that particular withdrawal of money is not possible it will just throw you an error message again so for that what you can do is we will be having a decision box again so just go to decision and just paste it yeah so we will just have a condition we can just have like a text over there basically so we can just directly have the condition here itself so if the amount is greater than the balance so if the amount corresponds to the entered amount over here and balance amount corresponds to the amount that is present inside the bank account i will be also having another two texts which is true and false so true over here and i will just have false over here so if that particular amount entered is greater than balance that the particular transaction can't be done it needs to be stopped over there with an error message so the action is going to be just a error message all right yeah so this is going to be the error message after that so i will just have the control flow lines as well so if the condition is true we will be having an error message and after this the user will be like directed to entering the amount like maybe you can just enter some other amount you can just have it this way i will just move this condition over here yeah this is much better and i will also draw the four flow lines for the existing actions yeah that is good yeah so if the condition is false so if the user has entered less amount than the balance this condition will becomes false which means that that particular transaction is still possible so after this we will be having the processing amount all right so so the machine will basically just process the amount and then will like give the money to the user so we will be having this processing amount so after that the user can just get that amount from the slot so it will be like i'll just have another action so it's going to be um take money uh, comma receipt yeah so i think we can't use comma over there so take money and receipt yeah i think that's the next thing that will happen let me just have a control line over here control flow I think this is too much slanting. Wait, let me make it large. Okay, this is much better. So the final thing we will just need to like auto, I think it will be automatically logged out. So anyway, we will just have a option to like log out something. I think it's auto log out. You can just have it. It's just optional and up to you. And after that, I will be having the final thing. Yeah. So I will just draw a line. Yeah, so this is good, I guess. You can just correct the lines, make it more straighter. And another thing that I want to tell you was, you can just also mention or highlight what or who performs a particular action. So let me just have a note for that. So let me just have a note for that. So I'll just click and have a note. So I'll just type it as user and let me just have like this at the corner so the user is going to like insert the card yeah and the user is the one who is going to like enter the pin and at the end the user is the one who is going to be like oh that's a big line take the money and receive so these particular three actions will be performed by the user all right yeah so the user is the one who is going to like perform these actions okay the user will also enter the amount okay so that's another thing this is just optional if you want to add this you can do it it's, it's totally up to you so these actions will be performed by the user and next thing is going to be the machine that is the atm machine over there so atm machine yeah so the atm machine will basically uh, give the error message yeah and uh, 
the ATM machine will display the account type and the ATM machine will basically process the amount yeah and you can even add this for that it's your choice and next one is going to be the bank that is the backend processing or the processing that needs to be taken place within the bank or the where the user has an account so it's going to be bank let me have it as uh, bank processing yeah so the bank will basically have the amount right the balance of the particular user how much the user has stored in his account so for that the bank is going to do this particular processing and the bank is also the one who is going to do this particular processing as well this authentication all right so this is like kind of complex if you want you can just make it as a column right if you want to like just have three column one let it be user and another one is going to be the atm machine another one is going to be the bank processing and what what you can do is wherever you get an action for atm machine you can just drag it to the right and you can have that action over here and in case if you have this amount balance you can just have the bank over here so it will be like the third column like that you can also divide it based upon column i thought it will be like more complex than this this is like kind of easy because we just know the straight flow of how an atm works and how we can like withdraw the money so it's just going on a straight flow rather than right and left or column wise action and you can just like have these lines as a note lines at the end it's totally up to you these note lines are optional only the straight flow is important so i think you would have found this video useful i have also done many other activity diagram use case diagram and class diagrams so you can also check them as well as i have done videos in c c plus plus java python node.js react.js mongodb mysql so do check other videos of my channel subscribe me thanks for watching